Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a padded foundation using the chain stitch. Um, you might also know it as the uh, lazy daisy stitch as well. So basically here, this area is going to be covered with satin stitch, but before I do that, I want to give it kind of a raised area. So I am going to get myself anchored in here with a back stitch. But while I'm doing the back stitch, I'm also going to do the chain stitch. So what I've done was get myself pulled in and leave a little bit of a tail. I'm going to go back and come right up about an eighth of an inch or so. You're going to take your thread, pull it around your needle, and pull it through. You're going to get this wonderful little loop, just like that. That is the start of a chain stitch. Go back into that loop, emerge again about an eighth of an inch, take your thread, wrap it over the top of your needle. It doesn't matter if you wrap to the left or the right, it'll come out the same. And we started our chain stitch. This gives a wonderful foundation for a padded area. It's nice and even and it helps fill in pretty quickly especially if you have a large area that you're going to be filling in. I'm just obviously working around the perimeter of the area that's going to be filled and I'm going to fill it all in with chain stitches all right here and come back around and get it all filled in. As you can tell, it's pretty haphazard. This is all going to be covered up. So basically what we're looking for is just filling in that area with some stitches. And of course, I, I work this particular kit with silk. So I padded in cotton because it's less expensive. I'm just getting rid of our thread there. And now you're going to go and do your satin stitch. I already demonstrated this in an earlier video, but we'll revisit it here. Get our thread all inserted there. And I'm going to go ahead get myself into this area with a back stitch and merge right back up into this left hand side like I demonstrated earlier. And this of course is in, in silk thread. Very, very beautiful to work with. Get myself anchored here. And get this guideline area all filled in. Now you notice, of course, our, our padding stitching didn't make it all the way over here. This is so fine over here, I tend to leave the area a little blank. So it, it doesn't quite necessarily need the padding. It's, it's just too small. It's just a line. And this is already going to puff up on its own, as you can tell, because this fabric is tightly woven. So we're getting right over our area that we've padded. Come down on the right and up on the left. And we're going to cover all those padding. If you're not particularly happy with your satin stitch or you think that it kind of comes out uneven, try putting a padded foundation underneath it. It really helps kind of pull and place those threads and kind of gives you a really great edge. I think you might find a lot of assistance from that. I enjoy it, of course, because a lot of period textiles were padded, especially when you had very simple things like petals or simple shapes. This is silk thread, so I'm going to give it a couple of twists here with my needle. All I'm doing is this. Make sure that that twist in the thread is maintained and consistent in my stitching. 
See that wonderful little crisp edge you get? And we're just going to continue. Fun, easy way to add just another dimension to your embroidery. And that's it. Thank you.